We're teaching uh, the OLI, Carnegie Mellon University, basic stat course online. Well, they, it's, it's basically a completely developed course. They have modules. Uh, the professor is allowed to choose the module that uh, they want to use, but our curriculum is such that we, need, we can't leave out anything. So we just uh, choose the modules, and they have things called checkpoints, which are the equivalent of homework. We let students have multiple tries in the checkpoints, and that counts as the homework. I'm not necessarily sure I enjoy teaching online. It's frustrating sometimes for the professor. It's frustrating for the students. Uh, there was a bit of a technological problem with uh, the course not allowing students to do what they said they would allow them to do, but that's been... I taught it last semester, and I'm teaching it this semester, and they finally made a fix uh, five days into the start of the semester that allowed us to give multiple tries on the homework problems without actually revealing the answers, but it's, it's very primitive. We're all, I'm also teaching a, uh, a course using online homework, uh, and we, the stat department has decided to uh, adopt that course, and that actually has questions that are generated algorithmically, which means you can give the student the answer to the question, and then the student gets another chance the numbers are different, so the student has to make sure they understand the method of doing the solution, and then they can check and see if they got it right. So the feedback in the OLI course is very primitive. Uh, some of the explanations are quite terse. Well, it's, it's frustrating for me as a professor to see that material that I wish had been changed, but we're using it as is. I think what we've learned is that for very bright students who have mathematical sophistication, they can look at an equation and they can, quote, see the numbers, see the way it works, uh, it's a good way for them to learn statistics in a very short time. And they don't have the repetition that uh, other, other students need to uh, get the materials implanted and understood. So part of it is okay, it's, it's, uh, but it, it can't be customized for, uh, for different students. I think that if, if we could take that material and modify it and expand it and make some changes in the homework, then it might work. It might be a suitable course for our students. The only interaction I have is we have optional sessions where they can come in to get explanations. And some students have done that and other students have not. And then we will have in-class exams and we'll have a review the session before the in-class exam and there are two of those in the final. We'll have a review and I'm sure a lot of students will show up for that. But other than that, very few emails back and forth this time. There were emails back and forth last time because there were some more problems with the course. Uh, I'm not getting a lot of emails from students and uh, I believe we set up a chat board and I'm not sure that's been very much used. So students are pretty much operating on their own. That's a little troubling as, as a professor, but that's, that's the way the course was working now. If we ever use uh, online teaching for statistics, we'll probably use the hybrid model where we have some of the materials online, other material requires that the students come to a session and interact with the professor or interact with someone to make sure they're, they're understanding it and getting it. The people that developed this course have uh, suggested that we use our standard tests that we use in, in our in-class exams. Uh, I've chosen not to do that because the material that is presented is, is it, it's not a really, it's not a business statistics course. It's a uh, social science statistics course. So the emphasis is on different things. Some of the material, obviously, some of the basic materials is exactly the same, the principles are the same, but they spend a lot more time on uh, setting up experiments, uh, 
in our basic STAT 2000 business course, we talk about prediction. Uh, and we're not necessarily interested in developing how do, you, how do you establish causality, but rather can you use certain information to make predictions about the future. So it's uh, somewhat of, of a different perspective. The, the other perspective, th this, this comes across in terms of the examples that are used uh, throughout the course. So uh, rather than taking the exam that I'm using for the uh, in-person class, which is a business statistics course, and just putting that in front of the students, I'm basically reviewing the content material of the course, and I'm making up the exam questions from that content material. I'm going to try to have similar questions if possible, but I'm going to make sure that the questions that I asked the students, were, those, that material was actually covered in the course content. The course content is very, very brief. It's probably the equivalent of 20% uh, of a textbook or less. So it's very, very brief. And unfortunately, there are no review materials that are key to that course. So uh, it's been a challenge to, uh, for me to come up with what I consider to be fair exams. Well, online education is something that is growing. It's being used. Some places are using it much more than other places. I know people who have taken courses online and have very good things to say about them. And I wanted to try the, the, best, the best way to learn something is to try to teach it, to try to teach with it. So that was a way of uh, my getting familiar with online education as it is now. Oh yes, yes I would. Not I would like I would not like to use the same course, and I will recommend that we don't use that course for our basic stat course. Uh, it might be in my work in, in liberal arts colleges, but I certainly would try it again. Not not the same course, but other courses. I I think we could develop. Not I mean this this is set up to be exclusively an online course, uh, self-contained online course. So apparently the way they've implemented at Carnegie Mellon, they actually use this and they make the students come to lectures. I'm not sure what they lecture if they follow the same material if they use different different material. I could see developing a hybrid course where the students come in sometimes and then do other material a lot, a lot more on their own. Uh, I'm getting fantastic feedback and I haven't done any exams yet from the new automated homework that we're doing uh, in, the, in the new STAT 2000. Uh, students have to spend a lot more time on homework than they used to. I'm giving them more points. They're getting 25 percent of their grade from the homework. But uh, it may take two or three hours to do a homework. It's not just one or two problems. It may be six or seven problems with a lot of parts. And the, the students tell me that they're actually learning because they get a lot of feedback, they get to check their answers, and then to resolve the problem using different numbers. So that, that seems to be very good. I like that idea. I could see going to uh, a course, we did a lot more of that, and had fewer lectures, and gave them, the students some materials that were interspaced throughout the homework, so that they could learn the material first and then try to do the homework right then and there. That, that is an interesting idea. In the past, I would, I would actually grade my own homework. And I knew what the students were doing, but I think it was more of an evaluation of what they knew not the opportunity for the students to interactively learn something new. So it, it's homework is having a different, uh, playing a different role this time, and I like the role much better. The students seem to like it. They're doing quite well. Uh, they do get multiple tries, but I think a lot of them are putting in the effort. A lot of them are actually doing it by themselves. We'll have the ultimate test when they actually have to come in to the exam uh, and take an exam by themselves, and we'll see how they do, but right now it looks very promising. It's been very interesting to, to, to teach the online course. We're participating in an experiment. And uh, it's really, uh, what's, what's so interesting is that the online course 
goes into great detail as to how to do a perfect randomized experiment. And then the way they've chosen to implement the so-called experiment is so much different from what they teach in the course, it's like they haven't looked at their own material. So I'm, I'm wondering if maybe some of the people have, should be looking at the material that's in the course to decide how they're going to do this so-called national experiment.